Why, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. Uh, as you can see, we're out on the dock, and I finished the potatoes, uh, the potato farm. I went ahead and, and picked them and replanted them, as you can see. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into it, I guess. Uh, today, we are going to cover the basics of potion making. I've decided it's about time to do this. Now, in order to do so, we're going to have to take a little trip to the nether. But, before we do that, I have something else planned, which is grabbing... Obviously, last time, uh, I should say this, last time, um, before we left, I ended up getting a bow, uh, or another piece of a bow, and if you can remember, we also have this in our tools chest. So let's go ahead and combine these two guys, uh, just like this, boom, now we have a bow with great, uh, great durability. It's not the best, but you know what, I think it'll last, um, and before we go to the nether, I, uh, I think we're going to want to be able to take down things from a distance, because they're a little bit meaner in the nether, if you guys haven't noticed, so let's go ahead and do that, uh, we'll keep the shovel on us just in case, we'll keep our other swords and stuff, and let's go ahead and go uh, enchant this bow, we'll go ahead and see what we get off of this Oh, uh, yeah, the, uh, remember the lapis we put into this chest last episode as well, let's go ahead and put this in here, and... I'm breaking one and power two. That's actually very awesome. Power increases the uh, the damage the bow can do. And obviously, I'm breaking makes it last a little bit longer for us. Now, let's go ahead and get into the nether. Remember, um, we are traveling to the nether for a reason. This reason today would be the nether wart. We have to find um, nether wart. And we should probably go ahead and collect some, uh, some nether rack as well so we can go ahead and plant said nether wart. Actually, you know what? I think it's, it goes on soul sand now that I think about it. Um, so we're going to have to farm some soul sand. I thought he was going to walk straight into our door, like, right when we walked out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to that nether fortress that we had found before. Uh, I will get back with you guys when uh, when I've thoroughly searched it and if I find any uh, nether wart. Um, it's good to mention that I plan on getting some blaze rods while we're here as well. I think we have enough, but uh, I'll keep my eye out for blazes and try to try to kill them as well. Okay, and you guys, all I simply did was, I'm going to go ahead and show you, uh, that is where we came in. Remember the, those we put those two pieces of wood there to find our way around this fortress? Uh, look what I found right in this first chest right here. Very amazing. Some obsidian, some golden swords, nether wart, and a saddle. Saddles are absolutely amazing. If you don't know, saddles can only be found in uh, randomly spawning chests, and they cannot be... Um, they cannot be crafted in 1.8 or um, even many versions prior to that. Uh, it looks like there might be a tripwire trap here. No, okay, it looked odd with the stairs. Sorry, we need to check this chest as well. Ooh, three diamonds. Absolutely amazing, you guys. This is going to be great. And another saddle and a golden chest plate. Not bad, not bad. Um, so, yeah, now we have two saddles. This is absolutely amazing. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look around here just a little bit so that um, I can see if I can't find some soul sand for us because that would definitely... There is the soul sand, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot this guy. You can see it takes two hits to take down a blaze, which is absolutely nothing, which is awesome. I'm super glad we enchanted this bow before we came here. Now, over here, you can see, boom, this is where the, the nether wart, if you did not find it in a chest, would naturally spawn. Um, it is on soul sand, so that means that clearly soul sand is what is used to farm it. Let's go ahead and pick up all of this nether wart and check that chest there, I guess, because that's pretty awesome. Uh, and we will... Um, we will... Uh, Go ahead and back to the overworld. So I apologize about that. We'll go back to the overworld. But first, uh, like I said, we'll take the soul sand. Now, soul sand is picked up a lot quicker like sand uh, or gravel would be with a shovel. Um, just as nether rack would be faster. Not This is nether brick. But nether rack would be faster even with uh, with your pickaxe. It's, it's the same concept. It's like the sand of the nether if you want to think of it like that. Except it does not apply to um, gravity. It, it does not have the gravity things that sand does. So let's go ahead and check this one. Oh, just a flint and steel and a golden sword. And we'll just check around this corner. Just a couple zombie pigmen. No big deal. Let's go ahead and go back to where we were headed before. I probably shouldn't have jumped down here. But we'll be okay. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's go just go straight home. I will be back with you guys when, uh, oh, hey, there's something else for us. Oh my gosh. This diamond horse armor, super rare, super awesome. We got it, guys. Uh, I apologize. Uh, now we will go ahead and cut uh, after I look down all of these hallways now to make sure that we have all the awesome chests that are in this fortress. Um, I got this one correct? No, I did not. You see, that's why we continue to check. Uh, nothing over there. And then, oh, there's another one of the rooms. Wow, this place is absolutely stacked. We'll have to come back and, and completely explore this place when we get a chance. Um, I believe the way up is right here. Um, and then we should be able to um, avoid this weather skeleton for a second. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? 
He just disappeared. Oh, he went outside. I was like, what? <laughs> okay, so we got him. Awesome. Uh, I just dropped some coal and some... I got just some coal and some... Um, some bones. Uh, usually, they that's what they drop. That's a normal drop. But sometimes they drop wither skulls. Wither skulls. Those are the guys that drop those wither skulls. That will allow us to fight the wither boss in the end. So hopefully, uh, at some point, we can come back and farm a ton of those guys to get there. Because I'd love to show you guys, or not get to the end. Uh, just get another star. I apologize. Um, yeah, and it's it's very very uh, cool and having to fight that guy. I really hope I can show that to you guys because uh, it's it's a really cool aspect of the game that um, not many people take the time to farm and get out. Now, like I said, I'm gonna leave you guys here. I'll tell you when we get back to the house. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, we are back at home. Let me go ahead and organize everything, and we'll get right on our way after I go to sleep because we need to be safe from enemies uh, while we work. Okay, and there we go. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do first is set up a little farm inside of our home for our nether wart that we just picked up in the nether, which is very, very cool, might I add. I'm very happy that we were able to do that. Now, we only have 20 pieces of um, soul sand, so we, we're not going to get really much planted. But I, I kind of would like to plant it along here, so let's go ahead and cut this out. Uh, I guess that would be good, right? Is that nice and balanced? It is not. Let's go ahead and make it balanced. Um, cut this. And we will also take out from under these stairs. And we're going to go ahead and fill this all in with soul sand. Oop, let me grab that extra torch. I'm going to go ahead and fill all of this up with soul sand here. Um, I know this may seem weird, but it's it's got a purpose, I promise. Uh, let's go ahead and place these guys down. Like so. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get any blaze rods like I said I, I was hoping to. Um, but that's all right. Now, let's go ahead and create a couple things here. Well, first of all, we're going to go ahead and make our a crafting table for down here because we, believe it or not, we'll be starting to work down here. And let's go ahead and make ourselves a... Uh, yeah, let's only make one chest for now. I think we'll be fine with it. Let's lay that down there. Now, we're going to want to... Um, go up and grab some iron because the first thing we are going to oh well there's a few things that we're going to need to make up from the resource room so let's go ahead and get those started so what we're going to need is we're going to need sand we're going to need a lot more sand than that i can guarantee us so i'm going to go out i'm going to grab sand i'll be right back with you guys in a second Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed only 64 more pieces. Uh, it was actually the perfect amount to get rid of our shovel as well, so we should make a new one here pretty soon. Now, normally I would make one out of diamond, but um, I think we're going to keep them just in case we find more, and then we can make armor, and I think we'll be much um, much more happy with, with diamond armor, especially if we're going to take on the wither or the, uh, the end. So let's go ahead and go back to our... Um, a cooking area, I guess, or a smelting area, and we will go ahead and throw, oh, I was wrong, we had 66, wow, anyway, um, we'll go ahead and throw this in the oven, obviously, eight pieces of coal, we'll cook, uh, 64 pieces, but one is already burning, yes, um, let's go ahead and put our food away in our food chest, um, and we only have a raw rabbit that stinks, there's something else that we're gonna need, but, um, it's not, it's not super important as of yet. So we're going to go ahead and let this glass cook. And now while this glass is cooking, we are going to go and grab our valuables chest. And our valuables chest has ingots. We're going to need, uh, I'm going to say 14, I think should be quite all right, um, with, with what we're going to be doing. Now let's go ahead and make uh, the upside down, um, the upside down crafting recipe for pants or, or leggings. Uh, we get cauldrons. Now we have two cauldrons here. And then what we're gonna want as well is we're going to want uh, to grab and from our nether chest. If you don't remember, we actually have two blaze rods, which are very important. Um, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some cobble as well. Uh, we're only going to need six pieces, actually. So let's go ahead and go to our crafting table now. Now you'll see that if we put our oops, uh, our cobblestone along the bottom and our two pieces here, we actually get things called a brewing stand. Now brewing stands are the essential item to potion making. So let's go ahead and uh, actually, you know what, before we head down, I actually want to um, be able to decorate this and make this look a little bit better. So let's grab uh, stone slabs because I, I kind of like the look of those. Um, and we'll get, we'll get downstairs. Um, obviously, if you could not tell yet, this area down here will be our brewing station. Um, so let's go ahead and actually add our potion stands. I think we're going to do one here and another one. Actually, no. You know what? 
I kind of don't like where that is. We're going to move it. Uh, I like it here, and I like it here. That that should do very well. And we'll go ahead and set our potion stands up now. They are very cool. They have a little uh, little uh, effect coming off of the top. Now, if you go ahead and right-click the base of it, clearly you see I can't click the actual stand. You have to click the base. Uh, you have three slots, which would look like to be bottles, and then something that goes into them. Now... What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lay down these cauldrons as well. And very quickly, remember, we have this infinite water supply here. So we'll just go ahead and fill up our bucket or unfill our dump our bucket into one of the cauldrons. We'll go ahead and fill up our bucket again and we will fill it up again. There we go. Now, our, these cauldrons are considered full. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to run back upstairs and go ahead and grab our glass. Now, our glass has been cooking. It looks very good. Um, we can make this into a bottle by simply doing um, th this recipe. So you're going to put... An even amount in this one, this one, and this one. There we go. We have three bottles per three pieces of glass that you use, so you actually end up with quite a few bottles. Um, but like I said, we're going to want some extras as well because I know we're going to be doing this quite a bit, uh, especially if we want to take over the water temple. Now, we're going to go ahead and say our, our glass bottles. I'm going to put them in there, right? No. We have to have something in those glass bottles. So uh, I, I believe glass bottles can only stack up to 16. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I obviously, we'll be able to tell here in a minute if we just go ahead and wait upstairs for one more um, or three more pieces of glass to cook. I will tell you that right now. I, I could have sworn that that's how it works, but I could be wrong. No, okay, so bottles do stack up to 64. That's that's my bad. Now, I don't know if you can just right-click water. You can. Okay, so either either you can just right-click water and, and fill up your bottles, which is what we'll be doing from now on. But you can also get it from here. And uh, in the cauldron, you actually get three clicks like that. And see, bottles, they don't stack at all or anything like that. So you need to keep that in mind when you're filling your inventory with bottles. Um, so let's go ahead and refill our cauldron because we'll just keep it like that for aesthetics and we'll, we'll fill up our bottles from our infinite water source here now the first things we're going to need to make are called i believe awkward potions now awkward potions um, are the base for just about every potion there's only one kind of potion that they're not used for which is called the well you can have mundane potion thick potion and mundane plus potion now these potions um Whenever anything is added, they really don't do anything, except for if you add a fermented spider eye, which is what will actually allow you to um, create a potion of weakness. So I'll go ahead and show this to you. I know it's a lot of information to go over right away. So if we go ahead and put three bottles in here, you're going to want to do this every time or else you're not using your resources efficiently. And then we put our one piece of nether wart in here. We will see that this progress bar slowly begins to slide down. Now, when this progress bar finishes the bottom, you will see that the name of our water bottles change from water bottles to awkward potions. Now, depending on what you add after they are awkward potions, uh, depends on what kind of, what kind of, um, what kind of potion you get? See, and now we have awkward potions with no effects. There we go. We got an achievement, actually. Let's go ahead and check that guy out before we go ahead and move into more. Our potion. So here it is. Local brewery. Uh, brew a potion. Very awesome. So we got that achievement now. Now that we have our awkward potions, what are we going to need to make? Or what are we going to want to make? Um, let's. Why don't we start off by with something easy. We're going to go back up into our room. And actually, we'll grab uh, two things. We'll grab... Um, spider eyes or a spider eye and we'll grab um as well i think we can do some sugar let's go ahead and grab some sugar from our naturals chest remember uh we keep it in there uh i don't not think that we have any natural sugar so let's go ahead and do this there we go now we have our sugar and then we are also going to grab our spider eye which should be in our natural chest as well very awesome now natural natural i actually um I think we're going to want to grab one more. Sorry about that. But I think we can grab... Ah, yes. We can grab uh, a gas tier, actually. Now, the gas tiers are pretty valuable. So what we're going to end up doing is um, brewing some more potions here because I think that would be our best bet as of now. Um, I do not want to waste the gas tier. But what we can do is I can go ahead and show you guys the effects of the other two, which is the spider eye and the... 
um, the sugar. So let's go ahead and get this started. Now, remember what I said, you can, yeah, it's the most efficient if you put all three in, but because we're just gonna test and we wanna see what potions do, we don't wanna waste all of our awkward potions. So we're gonna go ahead and drop a spider eye into this guy. And why don't we go ahead and put another awkward potion in here and drop sugar into him. Now you can see, obviously, when there's more bottles in the potion, you, the more you can see hanging off of that. That's why there's three of these little peaks here and you can you can see the potions there. Now, like I said, we're gonna let those go and we're gonna go ahead and fill up a few more water bottles and we don't have to do a ton more, but just a few will be helpful. There we go, that should be enough for now. Uh, actually, we still have an awkward potion. That's all right though, we will, uh, I'm sure, use it very soon. Now, let's go ahead and check this one. Now, remember we put the spider eye in here. This is the potion of poison. Now, potions of poison uh, clearly are not something we're gonna wanna drink. So we're gonna have to do something else with that. But this one's called Potion of Swiftness. When applied, plus 20% speed. Hmm, that's pretty cool, right? Well, why don't we add something else? Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and add something else, but let's first of all start our awkward potions, and I'll show you once again that now that we have three, you see that all three all three little peaks have a potion attached to them, as opposed to the one here. Now let's go ahead and run upstairs, and there's two more things that we're gonna wanna grab. We're gonna wanna grab redstone and glowstone. Now redstone and glowstone have two separate effects on potions. Uh, we could just grab, what do you think? Uh, we'll grab two pieces of each. Uh, just so, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, mm, we'll grab one piece of each. I apologize about that. Oh, no, we want to grab two. Uh, now that I think about it, I was right. We are going to grab two pieces. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back downstairs. Now we have that, all those awkward potions brewing, but let's go ahead and check out these guys. Now we're going to want to add one of two things, redstone or glowstone. Now these are totally different aspects. One is a thickness and one is a... Um, I believe a power a power increaser. So what you're going to want to do is um, for redstone, it makes potions last longer. For glowstone, it makes potions stronger, but I believe they have a short shorter term effect. So because we're doing speed, I'd say that we want to run a little bit faster and we, would, we wouldn't want it to last as long. So why don't we go ahead and add a piece of glowstone and we'll go ahead and let that brew for a bit. Now, our awkward potions are done. Now, we'll just leave them in there because why not, you know, save a little bit of time here. Um, oh, I apologize. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and drop our gas tier into here and we'll see what that potion goes ahead and does. Now, there's a reason why, obviously, I would choose three for the gas tier. It's because the gas tier is very valuable, uh, a little bit harder of a resource to collect, and uh, all in all, it will be a lot more beneficial if we just make three potions of it, I promise. Now, we're going to go ahead and let both of these brew. Oh, actually, this one's done. So see, as you can see now, we have a speed two potion. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go through the list of things that actually will change due to the fact that of what you add. Now, in potions, once you have the base of our awkward potion, which remember is this little guy right here, you can add a few things. We have golden carrots, and now golden carrots uh, obviously have a crafting recipe. I'm sure you could find it, but it's just eight nuggets around a piece uh, around a carrot, and it will make a golden carrot. That will give you the potion of night vision. Next, we have the rabbit's foot, which will give you the potion of leaping, if combined, once again, with the awkward potion. Um, yeah, it just allows you to jump higher, no big deal. Magma creams, which are killed by, uh, which are um, farmed with magma cubes, I believe, are um, give you potion of fire resistance. Now, this fire resistance lasts for three minutes, just like all of these potions will. Uh, sugar, obviously, as we saw, will give us potion of swiftness. Puffer fish will give us potion of water breathing, which is actually very important for us to take over that ocean monument, so we're going to have to do quite a bit of fishing, especially because pufferfish are pretty rare. Now, next we're going to need a glistening melon for, for the next one. It's, it's the Potion of Healing. Potion of Healing, I believe, heals two hearts of... Um, of your body, right? Or of your, of your character, I guess, would be a better way to say that. Now, in order to make a glistening melon, it's the same way as the golden carrot. You just take a golden carrot, or you just take a regular carrot and surround it by eight pieces of a golden nugget. Um, finally, the last three pieces are our spider eye, which we saw what that does. It gives us the potion of poison. We get, we see our gas tier, which let's go ahead and see what that does right away, which is potions of regeneration. Like I said, very cool. Uh, it gives you healing over time, correct? And then we have our um, 
blaze powders, which is our final ingredient for the potions. Now, blaze powders give you the potion of strength, which is very important because we do want that achievement where we do a certain amount of damage with our sword. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Okay, so now you see that there are plenty of different things that we can add. I hope you understood um, exactly what we're adding. And as we need potions, I'll go ahead and show you um, me crafting them. Now, there's a few subsets to those as well. I should probably, probably go ahead and say. The fermented spider eye will change up only a few potions, but they will change them in a dramatic way. For instance, if you have the potion of night vision, which remember is that golden carrot and an awkward potion, uh, you're going to get the potion of invisibility if you add the fermented spider eye, which let me tell you is very useful on multiplayer servers, but I don't know how useful it is on single player. Um, as well as if you either add it to a potion of fire resistance, which is the magma cream, or a potion of swiftness, which is the sugar, you're going to get the potion of slowness either way. Now, the potion of slowness is only affected by redstone, which is probably important to say. And then... Um, the final ones are the Potion of Poison and the Potion of Healing. Uh, depending on which one, it doesn't really matter. If you add um, for the Fermented Spider Eye, that will give you the Potion of Harming. Now, Potion of Harming, clearly you don't want to drink that kind of thing. And I'll explain to you how we change that. Now, we clearly have our Potion of Speed or Swiftness. Let's go ahead and drink that, actually. And we'll go ahead. Oh, not the Poison one. Oops. Let's go ahead and drink that, and we'll see how much faster we move. Now, you can see our, our HUD gets a little bit different but we definitely do move around a little bit faster you can see we're traveling around our house a little bit quicker which is very very cool now let's go ahead and take a look at this potion of poison now we don't want poison on ourselves, correct so how are we going to change that hopefully i can show you guys by going oh i didn't mean to set that on the porch there by going into our chest and grabbing a piece of gunpowder i believe if we take the gunpowder and we bring it on downstairs again uh if we add it to a potion in the brewing stand so let's go ahead and do that by adding our poison and then gunpowder and now we'll see that this is working right so let's go ahead and let that develop and while we're waiting for that we need to look at this now last time we added the um, the thickness to the potion by adding glowstone why don't we go ahead and add the other one which is our redstone we'll go ahead and let that go uh, run its course now this one should be just about done and there we go as you can see we have splash potion of poison now that is a little bit different than what it was what it is originally the splash potion of poison it allows it instead of right click and drinking you can right click and throw it so why don't we go ahead and do that um, I would say on a chicken, but it's a little awkward because they're in the water. So let's go ahead and take a look around here and see if we can't throw it at something. Just give me a minute, you guys. Okay, so I think I found some an unsuspecting pig out here in the wild. Uh, just under our house, no big, no big deal. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this at this guy. There we go. Oh, and I accidentally hit myself with it, as you can see. But as you can see, the poison, and the poison will last for, or should last for 45 seconds. Luckily for us, we have our armor that uh, it, it helps us not feel that damage. Um, obviously, the pig is still poisoned or should be still poisoned. Let's go ahead and hit him uh, and take whatever he has because he's not going to use it anymore. Um, yeah, and so that's how the pat splash potion of poison works. Now, obviously, there are a lot of things in, in, the, in the potions. Um that we can cover but i think i've shown you guys basic like the basic works we're going to go ahead and check out our regen potion um if there's any more i need to cover i will go ahead and let you guys know in the next episode but i think i covered the majority of it i hope i was really helpful with this there obviously is some stuff that that um that will have been overlooked and i will be able to correct but now you can see our potions of regeneration last two minutes instead of our usual one minute potion so let's go ahead and drink that and now you can see our hearts are just straight going up it does not matter how much hunger we have it does not matter anything like that which makes these potions very helpful i'm obviously going to eat up just so we don't have to worry about it um but yeah so so that is um the potions aspect of the game clearly yeah like i said there's going to be a lot more maybe some that i didn't cover but look how fast this nether ward has grown uh in the time that i explained it to you guys um it, it obviously grew and there's plenty more to use on top of what we already have um now i'm going to go ahead and mass produce the potion of night vision and the potion of water breathing actually i don't know that we can do the night vision until we find ourselves some carrots which is not a big deal i'm sure we'll go ahead and find some very soon but um we we need to produce those simply because uh that's how we get in the water monument and how we can uh we can defeat that place so if you guys enjoyed the episode, please don't be afraid to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Remember, you guys, I do live stream on Twitch now. Uh, I start at 11 a.m. Central Time, and I stream until about 3 or 4 p.m. Central Time. 
Uh, if you guys want to check that out, it's twitch.tv slash reptrick. Uh, I believe there is a link for it down in the description below. And I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you guys later.